Good morning and thank you very much for joining us for this webinar um, from uh, Cambridge Judge Business School where we'll be talking specifically about the Advanced Leadership Programme. Let me just tell you a little bit about uh, the format of this event. Firstly, we'll speak very briefly about the, the webinar itself. I will then inform you somewhat about the University of Cambridge, specifically more about the Cambridge Advanced Leadership Program, Cambridge Executive Education in general, the programs we offer, and then we'll wrap up with some questions and answers and some chat if you have some questions you'd like me to, to answer. So um, just to introduce myself, my name is Alison. Um, I'm the Director of the Open Enrol Enrolment Programs here at the Business School and also the Director of the Cambridge Advanced Leadership Programme. So on this link this morning, we welcome people from the US, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Trinidad and Tobago and the UK. And thank you very much for those people who are joining us either very late or very, very uh, early in the, in the day. This webinar is being recorded for use on the web and it will be sent to those people who have registered but who could not attend. If you do have any questions, please, please do feel free to send them along as we go. My colleague Kathy Butler, Director of Corporate Relations and myself will be pleased to try and answer them as we move through the, the slides. And as I mentioned, there will be opportunity for questions and answers at the end. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about the University of Cambridge so you understand the, uh, the, a little bit about the wonderful university we belong to. The University of Cambridge is actually over 800 years old, 802 to be precise, and we're very proud to be, depart to be a part of this wonderful university, which actually has the highest number of Nobel Prize winners um, as has had of, as students. Um, and some very famous alumni among those will be Sir Isaac Newton, Charles Darwin, Francis Bacon, Alfred Lord Tennyson and many, many more. We're very pleased to welcome a world-class faculty group representing over a hundred different countries. So we're a very international university. And the university is actually situated in the city in the heart of what we call the Cambridge ecosystem, which is actually around Cambridge we have uh, what we would refer to as Silicon Fen, which is a group of companies working in the high-tech innovation sector um, and to contribute very actively towards uh, the university and a lot of our speakers and contributors come from these com companies as practitioners in this um, very unique uh, sector. The global alumni network of the university is over 200,000 and those people we try to keep in touch with on a fairly regular basis and they will individually keep in touch with their colleges. There are 31 colleges within the university and this collegiate system actually permeates into executive education and by that I mean that there is a lot of small group work within executive education where the faculty act as individual tutors and spend time with each delegate um, individually. And this is the system that's um, developed at the university and which continues to this day. We were actually ranked number one university in the world in the uh, World University Rankings in 2010. Now I'll talk a little bit about specifically the Cambridge Advanced Leadership Programme. This is a programme which takes place twice in the year, three weeks in June and then three weeks in October of each year. Who would attend the Advanced Leadership Programme in Cambridge? Um, we're looking for people who have general management experience, so they've had at least two to three years as a, as a managing director or a general manager of a business or part of a business. They have a generalist perspective and they have also in general P&L responsibility of around £30 million upwards, but we look at each case uh, on a very individual basis. So while this is a, a ballpark figure, um, each case is, is looked at for its own merits. 
They can be also heads of corporate functions. Um, so they could be members of the C-suite reporting into the management board, but they actively contribute to the strategy of the organization. They are, in all cases, individuals who made a difference, who have a lot to contribute to the program, um, and they could be entrepreneurs, academics, or individual contributors. The application form is a, is a six-page document which allows me to have a clear idea of people's responsibilities at the current time, their managerial experience, and also their, their potential for the organization going forward. Uh, and we take very seriously the selection process for this program. Why would you wish to participate in the Cambridge Advanced Leadership Program? Firstly, to update your leadership agenda in two ways, professionally and personally. By your leadership agenda, I'm referring to your challenges which you may be having to overcome sort of the six months after the program. So we ask all delegates to think forward six months and to and to put together a plan of how uh, with with their knowledge they've gained throughout the program how they might wish to address this challenge these challenges and move forward so throughout the program delegates will be working in small in their small working group with a faculty member as a facilitator to help them put together a I would say like a business plan for the time um, after they leave the program and the faculty get back to each delegate individually to find out how they're doing with their with their professional agenda once they've left. On a personal front, the delegates will have a day and a half of uh, coaching, both group and individual coaching, and this allows them to somehow take stock of where they are um, and to develop in parallel to their professional agenda, a personal agenda, which will um, allow them to make some change when, when they finish the program. It is a program which allows people to review their skill sets. Um, it is a general management program, so there will be a review of all the functional disciplines, but at a very strategic high level. Importantly, it allows people to step back and re-energize their thinking, uh, refresh their, their ways of approaching the business. Um, the makeup of the group is very international, so it allows delegates to interact with each other and gain fresh and new perspectives from colleagues they may not otherwise have come to meet. Um, the, the classroom is a catalyst for these exchanges of experience. It will, of course, enable delegates to meet and work with senior colleagues from around the globe. Um, on average, in a typical ALP program, we would welcome between 10 to 15 nationalities. The last November session, we had 20 people with 14 nationalities representative. So it is a very international program. Of course, delegates will be inspired, hopefully, by Cambridge faculty and speakers, both from the business school and from the university, and also from other business schools that we work with. Why the Cambridge ALP in particular? I would say that it differs somewhat from a traditional business program, because we bring in these contributors from the university to speak about topics very varied, such as uh, sustainable sustainable leadership, um, such as um, uh, some contributors from, for example, the Faculty of History, the Faculty of Philosophy, to infuse some knowledge in the program which will take you outside somewhat the, the, bus the typical business content and encourage participants to think about areas which they may not necessarily have thought about but which will have an impact on their on their business going forward. In terms of content of the Advanced Leadership Programme, there are four main themes. The first being preparing for the global upturn. And that's really quite a bit of the content in week one, taking a look at the socio-political environment, having a look at what, what the world looks like, how um, how are we as a company within this within this um, ecosystem? Um, and let's take a snapshot um, to the, sort of the macro, the big picture, before the program moves forward. The second theme, creating value for stakeholders, that's more the I would say the general management um, content, so the functional disciplines. Innovation and change will be 
a red thread throughout the three weeks. Um, and specifically, there are some sessions on this at the end of week two, beginning of week three. Impact and implementation, again, is something which will be constantly referred to throughout the three weeks. But coming towards the end of the program in week three, um, this um, professional and personal agendas will be um, firmed up and uh, so that when delegates leave the program after the three weeks, they have these two agendas which they can immediately work on when they get back to their business. How do these themes interweave? The academic program director, Professor Peter Williamson, is the captain of the ship um, in terms of the academic curriculum. So he has brought together these contributors uh, who know each other very well and who know each other's material very well. And so the four themes are, uh, flow very nicely throughout the three weeks and there are great links between each part of the um, of the picture. So um, it is not just a tapestry of sessions thrown in, It's there is a, a complete flow throughout the thinking and the um, design of the program. Some topic examples. Um, I can send a detailed schedule to anyone who's interested specifically, but some topic examples might be um, managing high performance teams, which takes place at the Cambridge Boathouse, and where one of our faculty members has done some research and lived and worked with the Cambridge um, Boat Club. And that is a very interesting session around how to how to lead these sort of high, really very, very high performing teams. Um, there could be another session on um, supply chain management uh, for leaders, um, strategic finance, and, and I can supply the detailed agenda to those people who are interested. Pedagogy behind the content, I think the, uh, the key thing here is the fact that these sessions are, are not static, there's a lot of there's a lot of interaction. Essentially, a session would start off with a faculty member setting the scene for, let's say, half an hour, uh, perhaps referring to the reading that's been done the night before, and then the delegates would go into small groups and work on on their on their ideas um, and findings from from uh, from the issue, discuss and debate, and then come back to the classroom for the plenary session, which could last an hour, an hour and a half, but which remains at all times very interactive. So there's there's um, always sort of um, questions and answers um, refer the faculty know the delegates very very well and they and they have their biographies um, ahead of the program start so they're very aware of the issues that the delegates are, are facing so there's constant reminder of these issues and discussion um, there is also a business simulation throughout the three weeks and there is a change of there are change of locations so the delegates will be having classes in in uh, a couple of the colleges and also at the Judge Business School as well as, as I've already mentioned, the Cambridge Boathouse and a theatre in Cambridge as well. What, a, what else is special about the content in this programme? It is, as I've mentioned, a programme which is very, um, which, which draws a lot on uh, the University of Cambridge senior faculty and professors. So there are lots of guest speakers um, who are renowned academics from the university who will speak for an hour or so, who will throw some some ideas into the audience and then be much more of um, discussion and debate um, into some very interesting topics. Um, and again, I can, I can supply these um, to people who are interested. So there is this infusion of wider content um, from practitioners and academics which, which is somewhat different from a typical business program. A typical day might be structured as follows. In general, classes start at 8.30, 9am in the morning and would finish at around 5 to 5.30. And the day could um, be composed around uh, group work, lectures and plenary sessions, um, and then debate. Uh, on this particular day, there is the session of... Uh, at the Cambridge Boathouse um, entitled The Art and Science of High Performance Teams. There are guest speakers um, a lot in the program. In this case in particular, the guest speaker will be coming for just before the dinner. Um, and then there will be dinner in an 800-year-old college, which, which takes place at least three times during the program.
The faculty for the Cambridge Advanced Leadership Programme, as I've mentioned, the academic programme director is Professor Peter Williamson, who's a senior tenured faculty here and who has directed numerous executive education programmes, both at Cambridge and formerly at INSEAD, where he was before. He brings together a team of faculty from the business school, from the University of Cambridge and other leading business schools, as well as speakers and contributors from, uh, from business. A few words about the facilities for the programme. The location of the programme will always be in a Cambridge college. But as I've already mentioned, the delegates have the opportunity throughout the three weeks to have classes in several locations, including the Boathouse, the Howard Theatre and the Business School. In all cases, the delegates are um, accommodated in a local hotel in the city centre and will be staying together. So we, uh, we wish to um, encourage the learning outside the classroom as much as in it. So the delegates are staying together. And uh, we believe actually that more learning will go on outside the classroom in terms of debate and exchange between um, each other um, as, as much as uh, with the faculty. We've brought together a few testimonials from some recent delegates. Um, and if people would like to speak to any one of these, then uh, I'm very happy to put uh, potential candidates in touch with them. Dates and fees, as I've mentioned, the program is always twice in the year, June and October. And on completion of the Advanced Leadership Program, delegates are eligible to join our alumni community, which will um, allow them to keep a strong link with the business school uh, and also be invited back to the annual reunion here, which takes place each June. On the next ALP in June, um, we have a new feature, which is that all the delegates will be given an iPad 2 with all the pedagogical material downloaded onto it, and which they are, of course, able to take away with them after the program. I'll now just say a few words about Cambridge Executive Education in general. Our portfolio is a portfolio of around 25 or so short two-day programs which cover content around functional disciplines um, and managing a business. We have a couple of sector-specific programs in the public service and professional firms areas. Our expertise, I would, I would say, is, uh, is innovation, um, high technology. And that is, of course, partly thanks to where we are situated in Silicon Fen uh, with a lot of companies around us doing amazing things and with whom we have this very good working relationship. We also have a portfolio of custom programs. So those are programs focused and designed specifically for one organization. Um, and one of our clients at the moment would be uh, is UNICEF, which is going to be a program delivered both in Cambridge and in their head office in New York. Thank you very much for attending the webinar. I hope I've answered some questions that uh, you may have had about the program. And I'm very, very happy to continue a discussion if you'd like to learn more or have some more focused questions on the areas I've talked about.